Hi, I just want to cover a few basics in Canvas for you. I know most of you have already been working for it. I'm here in the dashboard, uh, and these are the classes that I taught last semester, and you can go in and change what this looks like. Uh, I'm not going to show you that yet. I want to show you just some basics so you can get started. I'm going to go into my sandbox class that's not published here. And I already added a picture here, so let me show you how I did that. Um, the first thing that you want to do, if you want to edit what your class looks like when it's here, um, anything that's here, um, there's all that NCCU stuff that was all the same for all of our classes. You can just delete anything that you want. You'll see four buttons here. I've already deleted one. Um, for example, if I'm not going to use modules, I might decide I'm just going to use class resources. I can take any of these things and highlight them and delete them. Um, and I can add anything here. I can type text. I can put documents here. Um, I can upload an image. So um, here, um, I don't know, I'm just pulling something off my desktop. Here's a picture of my dog, <laughs> which is not what I put in class, but I can just drag something from my pictures and uh, I can submit it, um, whatever it is that I want to put um, in my class, you know, for it to start. And I can click, uh, I can change the size of this picture. I don't have to have it quite that large. I can take it just like you would in Blackboard, and I can make it smaller, and uh, I can have that here, and so I can put anything that I want to here. I can have it up here on the home page, um, and then I, I can um, edit that. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you is coming over here, there's a giant list of things. I've already changed it a little bit, but let me show you how I did that. If you click on Settings, and then I come up here to Navigation, there's this giant list of things that you can do, and I can click, and anything I want my students to see, I want above this, and anything I don't want them to see, so say I don't want to put rubrics there as a separate thing, I can put it here. Um, I, so up here I have my home page, I have assignments, I have my syllabus page, I have announcements, I have modules. I have chat and I have grades. And during the semester, if there's anything else that you figure out how to use, you can always take anything. So for example, if I want to put studio up here, I can just take it later um, and drag it up there. And it's just as simple as that. Make sure that you remember to save. So scroll all the way down to the bottom and click save. And just to show you um, what the students are going to see, let me go to the home page again. And you can see that I've changed this. I've made sort of a mess of it. So you can make it look like anything that you want here. You can put any text here. You can put any pictures here. Um, I am going to go to the student view. And then what you'll see is only the things that you have left. So it's very simple for them because they only don't have 25 things to choose from. You've got your assignments. You've got your syllabus. You've got your announcements, your modules, and your chat and your grades. Uh, it's really good to go and look at the student view once in a while because you want to make sure that they see what you think they see. So once you make an assignment, I usually quickly go and look at that. I'm going to leave the student view by clicking on this button down here on the bottom right. And what I want to show you is I've gone ahead and I've uploaded an assignment and you can get to them by going into assignments or you can go into your grade book. Um, when you click up, when you set up your assignments, you can set up um, how, the percentage for everything as you go. I won't go into all of that right now. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward once you go in there. Um, well, we'll just look at what assignments look like. I've already set some up in here. And you can see um, homework and quizzes, and, and you can set this to whatever you want. You can click on these three little dots. And you can edit it, and then you can set the percentage for everything. You can make each paper its own separate grade. You can create folders and put assignments in the different assignments. So in grades, uh, I uploaded an old student paper um, just to show you what this looks like. And you'll see it's over here um, in class final typed essay. And I'm going to click on this paper, and then I want to click on this arrow to the right. And I'm going to click on this thing called Speed Grader to get to the place where I want to grade. And this will look a little bit like Blackboard. You can see up here there's my toolbar. I can make comments. I can highlight. I can type text. You know, so if I'm coming over here um, and I want to highlight something, um, for example, I'm just eyeballing this in this part. Um, she says that um, D from the novel, everyday use, and I might just quickly 
you know, highlight that. Um, I can make a comment here or not because what I'd really rather do is make a voice comment. So a lot of times now what I'm grading is I'll just come through and I'll highlight or perhaps uh, take my paintbrush here and I can pick what color I want and I can, you know, I can circle things or I can make, you know, little stars, whatever it is I want to do quickly as I'm grading, as I'm, as I'm going through, because then uh, what I want to do really is I want to leave a voice comment so I can come over here and let me show you how that works. It's really pretty cool. I'm going to click on here. It's a little add a comment and I'm going to record and I really don't want my picture on here. So I'm going to turn uh, the webcam off and say no video <laughs> uh, because what I really want to do is uh, record and so I can look at the paper um, as I'm going and if it's a long paper I can do more than one. Um, you can also, uh, let me just stop this recording for a second. Uh, one thing that you can do if it's a longer paper, um, you can um, come up here and download the paper once you've highlighted it. And then uh, you can open the paper so that you can scroll through it separately so that you can read it. So I can come up here and I can um, open my paper and then I can have it over here in a, in a different window um, so that I can read through the whole paper while um, I start the recording uh, because uh, I might want to be able to keep my recording going. Or you can do each page individually because you can add as many of these little comments as you want. There is a, I think there's a maybe a three minute limit on how much you can say. So you don't want to say too much, but uh, your students will really appreciate if you can say a few things. Um, and so, you know, I might tell them over here, listen to comments. And then I'm going to click on this and let me just show you how that works. Again, I'm going to turn off my webcam and I'm just going to start recording. It'll click start recording. It's going to give me a little countdown. Hi, Micaiah. This looks great. Um, I just wanted to point out that uh, everyday use uh, down here where it's highlighted, I highlighted where you said it's a novel. It's actually a short story. And remember, short stories are going to go in quotation marks. Uh, and then I can continue making comments to the student. When I'm finished, I'm just going to click finish. And then I want to be really careful and make sure I click save media. And uh, then what it's going to do is it makes this little um, nice uh, recording for the student to listen to. And I can make sure I can and I can record this. See this little X right here. I can get rid of it if I don't like it. So I can hit play here. Hi, Micaiah. This looks great. Um, I just wanted to point out that uh, everyday use uh, down here where it's highlighted, I highlighted where you said it's a novel. It's actually a short story. And of course, you know, this isn't a great comment, but I just, this, I'm just using this as an example. Um, sometimes I find with my developmental writers, I like to read some of their writing out loud, particularly if sentences aren't kind of sounding like they make sense. And then I, and sometimes when they can hear it, uh, they can work on that a little bit better. Uh, when you finish, you'll put in a grade. So, okay, you know, this is a, a nice good B, we'll say. I can write comments here. Um, you can even put in, you can even attach documents here. So if you had some kind of grading rubric or, you know, some kind of um, checklist or anything that you want to put here, you can actually put submit. And then when you're finished, make sure you click submit. And then the student, um, oops, come on, submit. I'm not sure why it's not going. Um, the student will be able to see uh, the grade. And I'm not sure why my submit button is making it go nowhere. Maybe because this is a practice class. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, when the student goes in to read the graded comments, they need to click on um, that feedback um, button. And let me see. Okay, I just figured out the reason it's not going anywhere is because I don't have any more students. Ordinarily, when you click Submit, it'll move to the next student. Uh, I'm going to click over here, this top left, and it's going to send me back to the gradebook. And you'll see the 88 has gone in, and you can see it's gone into the grade, and it's also gone in 
to the folder. Um, I have my folders here, assignments, paragraphs, in class, paragraphs that you can set up in assignments for um, percentages. Um, and now um, I want to show you, let me go back um, to um, back to the main class and let's put it in the student view to show you when the student comes in. Um, the student notice gets a little notice here that there's something graded and so the student can click on grades and then the student can see um, that this is here um, and they can click on the comment and they can they can play this. Now what you want them to do is look at it while they are uh, playing it so they can open up the paper and then click um, view feedback we should be able, oh yeah, and here's the papers because no, so notice that the rubric is here if you put one in and they can scroll down and they can see um, what I've highlighted here and then they can click play so they have to click view feedback. Hi Micaiah, this looks great. And you've already heard that a few times. So um, I, I really like being able to grade like this. I hope that this has been helpful. Um, by the way, my office is 234. I'll be around on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you have a quick question, I can try to help you uh, with Canvas and I'd be glad to.